There's nothing like an airline placing a huge But there's nothing like an airline placing a huge order. And that's exactly what we have received earlier on today. News has just come in that United Airlines has placed a huge order for the Airbus A321neo aircraft. They've ordered 50 Airbus A321XLRs with deliveries starting from 2024. The deal at list price would be worth $7.1 billion and it will come as a huge kick in the teeth for Boeing as it struggles with the grounding of the 737 MAX aircraft. The order reflects the partial approach of replacing their Boeing 757s while putting off a decision for the Boeing 767s. Now with deliveries from 2024 aimed at replacing their older 757 fleet, the aircraft will see around 170 passengers and they will have their business class cabin and it's expected to enter into service in 2025. Now before any discounts are made, the deal would be worth around $7.1 billion. United is also one of the biggest customers for the 737 MAX aircraft, with 100 of the MAX 10s on order. While both aircraft move a similar number of passengers, the A321XLR's impressive range opens up the North Atlantic routes for the carrier in a way that the MAX isn't able to. Now, United has been considering the A321XLR for quite some time now to replace the 757s. The airline thinks that the MAX 10 lacks the range and Boeing's proposed NMA hasn't yet been offered, eliminating the latter from any consideration. Now, Boeing have said that the NMA will see around 200 and 270 passengers with a range of 5,000 miles. However, United has specified that if Boeing launches the NMA, then the airline will consider the plane to replace the 767s, not the 757s. In addition to the A321XLR, United will use some of their 100 MAX 10s to replace their 757 domestics on premium configuration used on transcontinental routes. Now ideally, United would have one aircraft capable of replacing both the 757 and also the 767. But with no solution coming from Boeing, Airbus has stepped up to play. We know that Airbus has pitched the A321XLR from the bottom end of the mid-range market, ideally replacing their 757, while they are touting the baby of the A330 family, the A33800neo, as a potential replacement for the 767. To play it. We know that Airbus has pitched the A321XLR from the bottom end of the mid-range market, ideally replacing their 757, while they are touting the baby of the A330 family, the A33800neo, as a potential replacement for the 767. Although this strategy works well for airlines that already operate the A320neo and the A330 family aircraft, it's not really ideal for United, which operates neither. At the time, the CEO was weighing up options between the cost of adding a new type of fleet but then having something of the right size or trying to manage a fleet of MAX and the 787s, neither of which ideally fit the middle of the market segment. Now an order for the A which operates neither. At the time, the CEO was weighing up options between the cost of adding a new type of fleet, but then having something of the right size or trying to manage a fleet of MAX and the 787s, neither of which ideally fit the middle of the market segment. Now an order for the A321XLR isn't only a huge win for Airbus, but it's also another nail in the coffin for Boeing's NMA-797. The interesting thing to watch will be how United will use their 737 MAX 10s and also their A321 XLRs. The XLR has much longer range, so I'll be curious to see how United still moves forward with putting flat beds on the 737 MAX 10s, or if they try to backtrack on that. Regardless though, I think we can expect some transatlantic expansion from the East Coast resulting from this order. Now captains, do let me know what your thoughts are regarding the A321XLR order in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys very soon.